Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful ride chair revolutionaries. It's me Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. I'm just gonna make a quick video. I am I started this morning about 4:10. It's almost 11 a.m. right now. My whole I had a decent morning rush today, but I'm I'm heading home right now because I've been experimenting with uh the, the day after Valentine's Day, or the morning after, me and the girlfriend went to go to lunch, and I got, I ordered a smoothie, which I know, I'm like, ah. With my colitis, I'm like, you usually have to avoid, you know, the, um, the high fiber things, but I just saw that smoothie, because I saw someone drinking one on the way into the restaurant. I'm like, man, I can really go for a smoothie. And... I had one, it was so good, so I... Went to, we went to Costco the other day and I bought up some some you know some frozen berries and stuff like that. Today I am farting up a storm. I know it's a little graphic, but man. If I were to light a match, this car was just it was just explode. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm headed home mostly because yeah, I don't want to put my passengers through this. Um, and as at the time of this recording, I checked at 1050, the lift app was down because I didn't get a ping for like an hour and a half. So it's not, it's not that bad. I'm doing better this week than I have in the last month and a half up to this point. So it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, I felt bad in my last, like, so I've been gassy since like, I'm gonna say it's like 7 a.m. today. Really gassy. And my last ride, I remember I just let one rip. <laughs> so good. And then I got a ping. So I'm airing out the windows, I'm spraying OZM, I'm doing everything I can to try to not make this passenger fucking <laughs> choke to death on, my, on that smell. Um, yeah, sorry guys. Alright. So, but that's also not the, f the most funny thing that happened today. Uh, I had a passenger earlier today call me an asshole. Uh, she did it on her breath, but she definitely called me an asshole. I I did one ride this morning from around my house, airport ride, eight miles in, and then I got a ride going from I don't even know what part of the city that'll be called, but. I guess we can call it Lakeview. Uh, Lakeview to downtown. And then I parked the car. I sat. I waited. And then I got a ping because I had my short trip duration and direction. And I got a ping that was four minutes away and it said three minute trip west. So I'm just like not really in love with the idea of taking a trip. Um, taking that short of a trip. But then I figured, like, okay, if the trip is going further west, I'm going, let's just say I'm going seven minutes west, then that means I will be driving towards an area where people live. Like, generally, geographically in Chicago, downtown the Loop, there are people that live there. Most of the population lives outside of the Loop. Like, the Loop is mostly commercial, not residential. So I figured if I was getting taken somewhere to like Humble Park or something, then I have this I, I have the higher likelihood of getting someone that's actually going somewhere, right? So I took the ride. I drive over, I tap to arrive, I'm sitting there about two and a half minutes, and then I get a phone call, right? I got a phone call. I answered, said hello, no answer. And I, like I said, I arrived at the address I was sent to. And then I, I, as I, after the phone hung up on its own, I look at the, I look at the app and I notice the, the pin location and the little, the ye little yellow stick figure on Lyft are two different locations. The, the stick figure is like half a block away. So I'm like, okay, let me. Maybe the GPS got confused or the passenger pinged at the wrong location. So I just drove over there and, and I and I went to where I saw the stick figure. 
only to see once I got to where I saw the stick figure on the app, only to see the passenger running up, right, in, in workout clothes. Gets in the car, and then like, when the passenger got in the car, I kind of heard her mumble something like, yeah, I'm fine, like, fuck, fuck. I, I, I vaguely thought I heard her say something like, like, fucking fucker or something like that, like, talking under her breath. Three and a half minute ride, drop, dropped her off at, at the gym or whatever, and then I'm like, all right, have a good one. And as she's got in the car, I'm, all I heard was asshole or something like that. Just, I'm just like, I mean, part of it's my fault for, like I said, I, I mean, this is me. I know, I, like, on Uber, I find this annoying when I order a ride that as soon as the driver shows up, the uh, I am I am here message pops up. I think that's kind of frustrating. I'm not a fan of calling my passengers, right? Just that's not how I like to do things. I prefer not to call my passengers. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's just me. Um, so, obviously the passenger was looking for me, reached out to me, hung up on me, and then when I tried to, when I, when I figured out maybe there was a pinpoint issue or a GPS issue, I'm like, yeah, let me, let me, let me see if I can find the passenger. And because of all that, I'm the asshole. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's my first, uh, that's probably my, my rating has, has not changed at the time of recording, so maybe a little later, um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to give, I definitely gave that, that rider a one star. I mean, not because the, the ride wasn't anything spectacular, but it's like, you can show attitude that early in the morning over nothing, it's not the kind of rider you want in the car, so... You're welcome to the rest of the drivers who'll be picking her up at 5.40 in the morning, you know, 5.20 in the morning. <laughs> You're welcome. I just did you guys a favor. All right, guys. That's all I got for this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.